Hello, this is Rich Campy, Pro Advisor Coach. And today's grin, I'm grateful for bike lanes. And today's intention is stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Let's jump right into it. So what do you do when, when the lane's closed, when you can't go any farther and you have to stay in a different lane? How do you do it when the lane's closed? Do you ram through it? Or do you move over and get in another lane? I know for me, sometimes I just stay in the wrong lane. That's messed up. Put your signal on, get in the other lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. What is that? Staying in your lane is really around letting go of control, right? And around this holiday season, it's really easy to say, well, I'm gonna go do this, or I'm gonna go do that, or I'm gonna, I want this to happen, or I want that to happen, or I want all these people to show up, or all these people to do these, it's all around expectations. And so staying in your lane is really getting your mind around what are the expectations and what do you need to let go of? As an example, you may be going to that Christmas party with the white elephant gift, right? And you have expectations that someone's supposed to bring these amazing gifts. Well, someone else might be bringing something that's totally crazy, like a wrapped up gift from 20 years ago. And you're like, that's wrong. I brought this really nice candle and they brought this crazy gift, right? So stay in your lane is a place of letting go of control, right? It's around understanding expectations. Are you expecting things from other people? Or are you staying in your lane and letting go? Letting go of that control and doing what you're supposed to do and being okay with that, whatever that is for you. Be okay with your own place and not trying to control everybody else and all those situations around you. It's letting go and staying in your lane. How will you be the first believer to stay in your lane this holiday season?